Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Lenovo LOQ 15i Gen 9. If you want to have a look at the internals, you must undo 10 Phillips head screws. Then pry the panel with a thin plastic tool starting from one of the top two corners. The plastic there feels a bit bendable, so don't push too hard. After that, pop the back, then the sides. The front should be last. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. There are two thermal pads on the inside of the bottom panel for cooling the NVMe drives. Here, we have a 60 watt hour battery. To remove it, detach the connector from the motherboard and undo the four Phillips head screws that keep the unit in place. The capacity is enough for 3 hours and 8 minutes of web browsing or 2 hours and 47 minutes of video playback. To achieve that, you have to select the UMA graphics mode in the BIOS to use the iGPU, then select the balance preset and turn on the adaptive refresh rate function in the Lenovo Vantage app. Last but not least, apply the balanced preset in the Windows power and battery menu. For storage, you can rely on two M.2 slots for 2242 or 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. The RAM zone is covered by a metal plate that has thermal pads on the inside for cooling the memory sticks. The two SODIMs can handle up to 32 gigabytes of DDR5, 4800 MHz or 5600 MHz RAM in dual channel mode. The cooling looks good for such a laptop. It has two big fans, one thick heat pipe shared between the CPU and the GPU and one additional pipe for each chip. There are also two heat sinks and two large metal plates.